Welcome to four steps to increase the revenue of your aquatics facility. Now I believe this is the easiest way to solve your budget problems. Cutting expenses will only take you so far. At some point you've got to increase the revenue of your facility in order to have the, the budget there in order to be able to justify and afford all the different things that you need to do in order to maintain your facility properly. Now my name is John Callahan. I'm an internet marketing consultant and I've had a long-term relationship with the folks at Aquatic Source both in building Michigan Pool News every month and working on a number of other projects with them. In this case they've asked me to address the issue of how can their customers, you, bring in more of your customers. So how can you get more patrons, more swimmers, more activities into your aquatic facility? And That's what we're going to touch on today. There are four steps that I'm going to go through. Now the first one is you've got to improve your visibility. In the old days it was just a matter of being in the Yellow Pages book properly, being listed in the appropriate community directories, and that's pretty much all you needed to do. Everybody knew about you already, and that is just not the case anymore. Today visibility is completely dominated by two things, search engines and social media. When I'm looking at the search engines, I'm primarily looking at Google. Yes, there are other search engines out there, but Google owns 60% of all the traffic. And if I put in something like public swimming pools, what's coming up in your community? In this case, I'm searching from around Farmington Hills. They give me a list of pools in my area. They'll put it across the top here. They'll tie it to the map. If I'm not being found on this list, your customers don't know about you. This is the battleground. It's got nothing to do with the yellow pages anymore. This is the battleground. Now in some cases you can append the name of your community to your search and put in Farmington Hills swimming pools in this case and Google just gives you a slightly different presentation of the information. It's the same basic information. It's all the businesses that they think are in the area. But they only develop that information based upon what you tell them. There are certain ways in which you need to be set up properly on Google and on all the other search engines in order to show up in these rankings. If you're set up improperly, you will be the best kept secret around. Nobody will know about you. And the same goes for things like a health club search as well. If I'm searching for health clubs, Google automatically gives me the list of the health clubs that are in my area as far as they know. So being found on the search engines is the absolute key to visibility these days. Now the other area that I mentioned is social media. Biggest uh, player there, Facebook by far. Now this is an example from a Holland Aquatic Center. Their Facebook page gets an A+. They are doing everything right on their Facebook page. Not only do they have you know, 18, over 1800 likes, they've got all their contact information right up front and if you scroll down what you find is that they are active. They are actively posting things on their Facebook page. They are interacting with their patrons and they're developing their following all through Facebook. It's extremely powerful. This is a great way to increase visibility without an awful lot of cost. So that's number step number one. You've got to increase your visibility. Search engines and social media. Step number two is you've got to protect your reputation and that means reviews. Now there are a tremendous number of businesses that live and die by their reviews these days. You probably experience that with say you're gonna go buy a new phone what's the first thing you do? You check the reviews. If you're gonna go try a new restaurant out what's the first thing you do? You check the reviews. Everybody's doing it. Aquatic facility are no different. Here are a set of real reviews. It took me a grand total of five minutes to collect these off of the internet of actual reviews from aquatics facilities. Incredibly expensive and really poor customer service. Very expensive and, rude and crowded. Staff is rude. Bathrooms are disgusting. Worst time ever at a pool. Now it's interesting to note that of Finding these negative reviews, there were very few positive reviews. What you'll find is that people tend to pile on to negativity in the reviews. If there's already one or two there, then other negative people will pile on. So there was actually very few aquatics facilities that had good positive reviews. 
but there was quite a few with negative ones. And if you've got negative reviews out there, that's a significant problem for your business and will really impact your ability to grow your revenues. Because one of the things that Google does with reviews these days is they highlight those reviews. You know, they'll put them right up front here. As soon as you have more than five reviews for your facility, they go ahead and highlight it by putting the number of stars right there in your listing. It's very hard to hide negative reviews anymore, whether they be doing the listing across or whether they come down like they are in this one. If you've got negative reviews or positive reviews, Google really doesn't care either way. Negative or positive, positive they're going to highlight you as soon as you've got more than five reviews out there. So you've got to be very, very careful of making sure that you proactively collect positive reviews. And by the way, you absolutely cannot, under any conditions, post your own reviews or have a third-party service post them for you. That is illegal in many states now. There's a huge lawsuit going on in New York State right now where they're suing a whole bunch of internet service providers who are posting reviews on behalf of their customers. You cannot do that stuff. Not only is it unethical, it is illegal in many states, and it will be illegal in Michigan in a matter of time. So do not let somebody post reviews on your behalf. The only thing you can do is earn good reviews, and if there are negative ones out there, you need to bury them with positive ones. So you've got to make sure that you are worthy of getting positive reviews on an ongoing basis. Step three is you've got to deliver a great experience. That is the key to getting those positive reviews. Something changed in the economy over the last 10 years. Businesses that used to be just considered service providers are now considered experience providers. And there's a different angle to that. When you look at a business like Disney, are they in the amusement park business? Not really. They don't consider themselves in the amusement park business. Is Hard Rock Cafe in the restaurant business? No, not really. Is Las Vegas a bunch of casinos? No, it's much more than that. Is Lifetime Fitness really just a gym with a pool? No. All of these businesses have made a shift. There's a shift that happened in the economy. And there's a book out there that I highly recommend. It's called The Experience Economy. It's by somebody by the name of Pine and Gilmore, two authors. Here's the Amazon page for it here. The Experience Economy, they updated it in 2011. This book will help you understand what today's consumers expect of anybody where they're going to spend their time and effort and money. If, they're going to, if you interact with the general public, you need to study this book because it explains exactly what consumers expect from you now. And just having clean pool water is not enough. You are in the experience business whether you realize it or not. Step four is you've got to maximize your usage. If that pool is sitting empty, you are losing money every day. You've got to do everything you can to maximize your usage. Now the businesses that have realized that they are in the experience economy think in terms of events and promotions. What kinds of things can they have going on in their facility to keep people coming in constantly? How can they borrow ideas? from restaurants, from theme parks, from other Groupon advertisers? What can they do to borrow different ideas, bring them into their facility, and keep that steady stream of new customers coming in their door? You've got to increase your awareness as part of that, whether it be having things like text message broadcasting. It's actually technically very easy these days. Having social media setting up so that you're posting things on your Facebook page or your Twitter account about new activities and promotions that are going on at your facility. Having campaigns set up through places like Groupon or Living Social to bring in a steady stream of new customers. You've got to do everything you can to maximize your usage. Now, what that also means is you've got to maximize the availability of your pool. That means keeping that equipment running, keeping that pool water clean, keeping your facility clean at all times. That facility has got to be available as often as possible and that you're able to deliver that consistent experience that today's consumers expect. Those are the four steps. You've got to improve your visibility, protect your reputation, deliver a great experience every day, and maximize your usage of your facility.
My name is John Callahan again. I'll put my contact information underneath this video. If anybody needs help, feel free to give me a call. Thanks. Bye.